like life and death, moon and sun, it's sure to each the piper comes. And while God and goddess give for free, down below there will be fees. Despite perfect love and perfect trust, there's no way around it, cash is a must. We've sought within, but come up short, so we come to thee, your help to court. If you would aid this temple's life, a three dollar donation would be nice. Remember well that gifts when sent return threefold of what was spent. But if you can't, well, blessed be. We shall survive, so mote it be. Merry meet and welcome to week two of Wicca, a year and a day in magic. I'm Letty Neftes. Now, what is a witch? They're not evil women who cast curses on people. A witch can be anyone who practices magic. A witch could be a man or a woman, young or old. Witches are also known for their knowledge. And in times of old, the knowledge possessed by a local doctor or a pharmacist could be considered witchcraft. Witchcraft is considered by some to be a practice, just like medicine that the doctors practice. Wicca is a religion of witchcraft. But there are those who practice witchcraft and don't even know they're doing so. Look at the definition of magic. The science and art of causing change to occur in conformity with will. And think of prayer. What is a prayer? It's magic. This is why sometimes people who pray for whatever have their prayers answered. Because they caused it to happen with their will. Now it's important to note that witches do not worship Satan at all, being that most witches are either pagan or Wiccan. Unfortunately, Christianity lumped the devil and witches together in order to oppress women and as a ways to vilify the gods of paganism. Even to this day, Christians will tell you when you're worshipping any pagan god or goddess, you're really worshipping the devil. The Catholic Church invented the devil and based his image on our horn gods like Pan. They also use this to control people. You're going to go to hell if you don't submit to Christ. Sound familiar? What a great way to get people under your control. Now about the burning times. This was a time when the church started their infamous witch hunts under the command of Pope Innocent VIII and with the publishing of the Malleus Maleficorum. Many innocent people were murdered during this time, and most of them not even witches. A woman could be accused of witchcraft, just so one of her relatives or the church could have her property. Women were the most likely to be killed, but also Jews, poets, and other writers, and basically anybody that didn't agree with the church. Witches have been blamed for so many things, such as the Black Death, but in this day and age we know this to be false. But women are still called witches in a negative light. We can change this. We can take our word back to the respect it once had and the respect that it has amongst the pagan community. Now next week on Wicca, a year and a day in magic, we'll be going over what is magic. And my question for you this week on what is a witch is what was your knowledge of witches before you came across Wicca? Were they something that was made up? Or was it somebody to be feared? Well, thank you for joining me. And please, put your answer in the comments below. And until next time, blessed be! Hi, this is Lady Neftes of Universal Pagan Temple. Please show your love and support by donating 5 to $20 to UniversalPaganTemple.org. May the power of the goddess be within you always. And until next time, blessed be.